Okay, we're back, and we have Taylor doing first. She did a waterfall braid on this side. She's gonna do one on the other side to show you. It's basically a Dutch braid, and you're dropping a piece out each time. So she's going back, and the part of the waterfall that she's left out, she's using a wand and curling it. And she wants to leave the rest of the hair flat and it's looking beautiful. She's got a couple more to curl. And then we're going to move to the other side and let her finish her creation. The cool thing about using the wand is you're not getting so close to the head when you're doing these curls for the waterfall. And it really does leave a very nice look. I'm gonna move around the head because I want you to see this side. The cameraman said a little too much to drink, I think. Just a joke. But you can see the side, and it's looking very pretty. Now she's gonna come to this other side, go ahead, and she's gonna start the waterfall here. I think she's gonna leave a little piece out on the front, like she did on the other side. And we're gonna begin the braid. You notice she takes three strands. She starts it like a regular braid. Drop that piece down. She drops a piece out. Then she's going to pick a piece up. You're getting a piece up. And as she does, she drops a piece out. It's called a waterfall braid. Notice she takes the piece from the other side and drops it down. Each time you pick up a piece, you drop out a piece. You still have three sections. Her fingers are magic. Being in my 60s, if I did this much braiding in one day, I would be in pain for a week. It's easier when we're doing one-on-one -on -one and at school, I can show you a little at a time. But we're making these videos to post so that you have them to watch when you need them. Right now she's transitioning 
to the braid that she's going to leave hanging in the back. moving around so you can see the whole thing. She's going to come back and curl these pieces that are left hanging here and do something creative back here like a curl in the center, she said, and these braids hanging down. I look forward to the finished product. I'm going to stop and then we'll restart and let you see the finished product because she's going to do the same thing that she did on this side. And we'll let you see the finished product in just a moment. Taylor has finished the waterfall braid and curling. You got to see her do the braid and curl the other side. This is a finished style. I did go in and do a love knot for her. And what you do is just simply turn it and tie it. I'll show you another one because I'm gonna do a button on her in just a second and do a love knot with it. And so that'll be our next video session that we do. But isn't that lovely? I don't think there's anything prettier than a waterfall. Thank you so much for watching. Okay class, this is kind of a continuation of the last video and what I did is I took the waterfall that was uh, curled and clipped it up on the top of her head and the braids. Then I put a ponytail in and now I'm going to put a button in. I, you'll learn that you can make an updo of almost any down braided style that you do and it will help you to learn how to do updos. I'm using a donut form for a bun. Doesn't necessarily mean that you have to do a bun, but I am going to do one. And the easiest way to do a bun is to get her to lean way forward. And we're gonna separate this hair like so and spread it out. And then, now I'm taking a rubber band holder and I'm gonna do it twice. It's actually a large ponytail holder on that bun. Now set up Hannah and I'm gonna take this that I have left and I'm gonna wrap it around it. I don't want this. Oh, lost my train of thought. Her hair's pretty fine. Takes a lot of wrapping. I'm starting to pin it that up out of my way. Am I hurting you, Hannah? Mm No pain. 
because it is sometimes difficult to do these buttons. I'm going to use a little hairspray to assist me in doing the updo. I use a mixture of hair pins and bobby pins on the short pieces that have a tendency to stick out. I put in a little hair pin to help it lay down. The messy part's yet to come. I'm just hiding hair at this point. let some of our hair down here. I'm going to take the, the braids and run them around. I think I'm going to have to do them like this. right into place just as we wanted it to do class my husband keeps going in and out he's at loose ends no one's talked to him all day he's having to be by himself while we're filming and so it's getting real by now he's kind of tired of this I'm gonna take all of this down and begin to work with it, including the love knot, because I'm gonna make a larger one. I'm gonna make a large love knot right here in the middle, make it kind of come together. And how you do that is you take it, twist it a little bit at the base to get it to be one piece. I'm even gonna take a hairpin and stick in there to get it to be one piece, okay? Now I'm gonna take it, brush it, I'm gonna take it up, I'm going to tie it like so. Sometimes you got to get all those ends together. Now, we're gonna go over here and do some more love knots and make them connect one into the other. Next knot coming up. This is a cool way to turn pieces like these waterfalls into something meaningful 
that looks like you planned it all out in rare form. Truthfully, the plan was there to do an updo, but the love knots came when I realized well, how cute they were a while ago when she put one in the back. So all about connection. You want your hairstyle to be connected. I'm gonna go in here, lay this down from underneath and pin it down. Leave that end open to connect with the other one. Some of these pins will come back and take out, but right now we're going to use them. Too many pins. So I'm just throwing them away. Got hairspray on my fingers. They're sticking. This is the last big one. I will use that one to come back and connect the bit. I think I want to take this one this way so I have something to connect that. You can go either way with your opening. need to find my needle here because I'm going to work this through. And then we can get rid of some of the pins. I have to use my needle again. That one's not doing what I want it to. Sometimes you have to get down toward the end so that you don't have so much hair when you got a piece that large. That's what I'm doing.
See, I'm just hiding the ends just a little bit, and I'll be putting a, a pin in there. See, little face, Hannah. See what I got to do here. Not much. Looking good. I'm going to put a pin here to hold this till I spread it, and then it'll do what I want to. Now, I am going to turn the video off for a few minutes while I do the same thing to the other side. I know it becomes long and tedious. These particular practices do take time, but I want you to see the style when it's finished, so I'll turn the video back on, but we're going to take a break for a second. This is the finished product of the hairstyle that was first the waterfall braid, then we did a bun with a bunch of love knots, and we even used a needle to sew it a bit. It's very cute. It's kind of an old-fashioned do with the bun, but it's the old-fashioned that's come back. It's something that she could wear to the prom or anywhere she wanted to go. Love this.